Hi, and welcome again to Megs in the City. I'm Megs, and I'm here with my first empties video, so let's get into it. The first thing I want to show is this lotion that I got. Uh, I got it on a trip a long while ago, but I've just gotten now to finishing it up. There's even still some left. Um, I did want to eat, include it in the empties already so I could remember how the texture was. It's kind of oily, but it's been really great for my skin. It's got that added vitamin E in it. I got it because it was only a euro, I think. It was on in a body bell, I think. Um, and I needed a moisturizer because my skin was just really dry because it was change of seasons when I was traveling. And I ended up getting this in just a bus station. They had a body bell and it was mango scented so I couldn't resist and it's done me really well. It's only 75 milliliters but it lasted a long time. I've been using it a lot lately including it in my nighttime uh, skincare routine and I love it. So yeah it seems oily when you first touch it but then it really blends into your skin mostly so I would repurchase this if I ever find out where to get it from again. It's, um, I think the brand is Village, and it just says vitamin E and mango all over body cream. I've just been using it on my face instead of on my body. Sometimes I'll use the leftovers on my hands, and I like it. The next product is also a lotion, but this one I've been using as a hand cream. It's also something that I had from ages ago. I'm not even going to say how long ago because it's really, really embarrassing. But I love it. It smells really nice. It's the Bath & Body Works Body Cream Pear Berry with avocado oil and natural fruit enzymes to nourish and soften even the driest skin. This makes my hands feel so nice. It's just um, a semi-thick cream and I've been using it as a hand cream since it was travel size and just easy to throw into a bag and anytime my hands were cramping up then I would just put some on and rub it in and they would feel a lot better and it smells amazing so probably would repurchase it if it still existed not so sure if it's part of the permanent collection of Bath & Body Works next time I ever run into a Bath & Body Works I will find out because this was a gift and I really really liked it Okay, so you're going to see a theme with exotic scents or tropical scents, and to me, I love anything that smells tropical, like some sort of fruit that you find on an island in the Caribbean, except coconut. I love all scents like that. So this is Exotic Guava from H&M. <coughs> it's just one of these little perfumes that they have by the counter when you're about to check out, but I love this. The first time I smelled it, I was like, this is just exactly me. It's so cheap. I think it was like 1 euro 50 or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know how much the previous lotion was because again, it was a gift. But yeah, it's only 45 milliliters and I go through these like crazy because since it's so cheap then I just kind of missed it and walked through it, shimmy through it, just very legally blonde like but I love it it smells so nice it's just fresh especially in the summer I just go through these like crazy so this is probably my third empty one and I've even got a little bit left but I doubt it's worth it anymore because I can't find the cap so I can't throw this into my purse anymore but yeah if you like tropically scents the mango that I noted earlier and guava papaya, that sort of thing, then you will probably like this. I think they still do have it at H&M. I got these last year. I went absolutely nuts over them, and I got maybe seven bottles and have just been going through them like crazy since they're so cheap and so me, then I just went for it. I didn't want to risk them running out of them, so I love it. The next product I have to show you, I am so, so sad about the packaging on this because this leaked all into my purse. It was about this much full, so a little less than half full, 
and it just spills everywhere. So my purse smelled amazing for a couple of days, but I had to clean everything out and make sure nothing got stained. Um, it's from Sephora, and it's the Scented Vanilla Creme Brulee Spray. And again, just really easy to put into your purse and spritz it on whenever you're in the mood or you feel like your scent is fading. It's a vanilla scent. It's very nice, very sweet, very girly. Um, and yeah, I like it. I have bought another one of these in Mango, not surprisingly. And I haven't really powered through that because since this one spilled, I'm very, very careful not to spill that one. That one, I actually like the scent less because it smells more like an artificial mango, like mango flavored candy or something like that. So it's not this beautiful, intoxicating, exotic scent that I like when I smell something mango scented. It's very artificial and this just smells like vanilla. It smells like you've taken a wand of vanilla and just put it underneath your nose. It's really, really nice. But again, packaging. Mm, don't know if I would repurchase because of the packaging. Very risky. It was very cheap as well, I think. I don't have the price on here, but yeah, you can find this in any supper, I think. This next product is really, really random. Um, I actually found this at my grandmother's house. I, My aunt always leaves things there, and I just kind of picked it up. She wasn't using it anymore, so I took it with me. It felt so refreshing. I didn't realize until a lot later on that it's not just to cleanse the face, but it's an, um, a makeup remover. So this is from Yves Rocher, and it's the Pro Retinol 100% Vegetable I approve, uh, Enzymes and Themes de Jeunesse, uh, 3D Luminosidad, Desmaquillante, Energizante, Splendore, 3D Detergente, Energizante. So it just basically means that it's from Yves Rocher, it's the Pro Retinol 100% Vegetable um, made and it's got enzymes to help brighten up your face and it's an energizing makeup remover whatever that means it does feel really refreshing when you put it on the way that i've been using it is just pumping it onto a cotton swab and cleaning my face or even just applying it to my face with my fingers and it's amazing your skin feels so good afterwards and yeah i used it just kind of like face cleaner or a toner and that worked really really well for me and then I've been using it as a makeup remover and it's not the strongest makeup remover but your skin does feel a lot better there's since it is 100% vegetable then you don't have that kind of stinging feeling where very alcohol based ones that alcohol based ones leave on your skin if that makes sense um, so yeah, maybe if you have sensitive skin then look and see if Ebershare is still making this because again I stole it off my aunt and it has lasted me for quite a while. It's 150ml and yeah, I would love to find this again because I really like it and I love that it's just all natural stuff. And speaking of makeup removers, I'm almost out of this makeup remover that I just got at Forever 21, I kind of just went for the one that smelled the best. To be honest, it was really cheap. It was uh, $2.80. And it's the Love and Beauty by Forever 21 makeup remover with 30 cleansing wipes, which isn't a lot. And I had kind of forgotten I had this. That's why it's lasted that long. Because I haven't been in the States since over half a year ago. But yeah, it's fairly it's a fairly light scent, but there is a little bit of sweetness to it. It's refreshing on your skin. Again, it's not that alcohol-based stinging feeling on your skin, which I approve of. But it does get all your makeup off. You do have to use both sides of the sh of the wipe, but that's all. Um, with the makeup I have on today, this would probably only need one side of the wipe. And yeah, it smells nice, it's 
um, apt for people with sensitive skin. I would probably repurchase this, but again, I got it just because it was an emergency. It's not my favorite makeup wipe ever in the whole world. There are others that are a lot better, but if you're needing something or you don't want to spend too much, then this is a good option. Okay, so again, with the random products, uh, I know on here it says fair trade honey, but that was a sample that came in here before I got the sample of a shampoo bar that they let me have. So you can kind of see in here, there's a yellowy thing, and it smells amazing. It's Godiva by Lush. I will write down here below what it smells like because I'm really bad. I think it has a little bit of jasmine. There's something floral about it, which I don't tend to go for, but it just smells amazing. And it lasts so long. I've never tried the shampoo bars, but they're amazing. They foam up really nice. It feels so good in your hair. Um, it does take a while to get used to working with a shampoo bar if you're used to just a pumped soap. Uh, shampoo, sorry. But it's so worth it. I'm really going to repurchase the actual bar uh, probably once I move. Oh, so in love with the smell. Just amazing. And I've got the Oceanic bar, and I like that one less. I was really, really excited about that one, but I like that one less because it's a little bit drier. It's helping with my hair's volume, but it's a little bit drier, and this just smells so good. And everyone was telling me, oh my gosh, your hair's so shiny, it's looking great, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, that was it, Godiva Shampoo Bar by Lush, go for it. And the Fairtrade Honey was really nice as well, it's one of their liquid shampoos, and yeah, they just put it in this little pot for me, and they had put the sample in here, and just, just amazing. So 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 going to repurchase it very happy so that ends with the um the empties my first empties video so i hope you liked this if you did give it a thumbs up as always you can find me on twitter on tumblr <laughs> um i even have a facebook page and i'm going to include here my wordpress blog because I have been adding entries and I do want to get back to that. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, love you, bye! This one just smells amazing. The Fairtrade Honey, it's one of their shampoo bars. They had Oh no, no. Oops. Only if you've got happy makeup, like full face makeup. What I've got on today, I would only need maybe half of the wipe. Okay. Shut up, Meg.